very exquisite looking. The 2019 Audi Q8. I was first greeted by this very aggressive looking front grille. The inlets are so big. Now we've got these two sensors here, which are there for function. And that is to control the braking distance between the car in front of you and the distance in how many seconds you are in the car in front of you when you run the cruise control and the lane assist. Now, all new, we have the HD Matrix headlights. These headlights here work in a different manner altogether. When you turn the steering wheel to your right or to your left, they actually move to the left and to the right, so they light up the road for you. And when you walk over to your car, we've got the key here, you just unlock it and they welcome you with this new dancing flashing headlights. Such a cool feature. So now with the Q8, this thing here is completely new looking. So it's the coupe version of the Q7, meaning it's three inches shorter than the Q7. And this thing is two meters wide, so it's wider than a Q7. Hence why it's got that sports compact SUV look to it, which I kind of like. And to add to the flair, Audi have given us 22 inch rims on these cars. So you can get them in 20 inch, 21 inch, or option them up with 22 inch, which is what this car has. And this car is the S-Line package. So it's still the basic model. They're still going to release the SQ8, eventually the RS Q8, which hopefully has a bigger engine. Because this car here has a V6 twin scroll, single turbo motor, producing 335 horsepower, meaning 250 kilowatts, and 500 Newton meters of torque. Zero to 100 in 5.9 seconds. Not the quickest, but an amazing looking SUV that rides so comfortably that it's so versatile. You can take the kids to school, you can take it to work. And it's all about comfort. And the technological advancements in this car, second to none. Now we've got this all new tail light design here, this strip that runs from left to right. Every car maker is now producing cars with this strip. So being Porsche with the new KN and Lamborghini with the new Urus. But this has followed in their footsteps. And there it is. And one thing that I really like is the rear end of this car looks magnificent. And one other aspect is that the exhaust tips are very clean down here at the bottom. So, so slick looking. You don't even notice that they're there. When you hop over to the rear seats, you can see that it is so spacious. I can sit in here, being six foot one, plenty head space, plenty leg room, and these seats are fully adjustable to your liking. Look at that. You can move them however way you like. And they've given us that hint of piano finish timber here in the door, which follows trait with the front dash. Lots of space, plenty here. And now over to the passenger seat. You can't help but notice the big black piano finish on across the center dash, followed by the timber piano finish below, which adds to the car's elegance. Over here we have two displays. They're currently off, the car switched off, but these two display screens are also your buttons. That's correct, your buttons. You've got limited buttons down here, but most of them are up here. With your seats, you can adjust them in your display screen, but you can also adjust them here electronically. Not like the back seats that are manual. But what I really like most is that this cabin is so lit up that there's a panoramic roof above, which helps light everything up. And it is slightly tinted, so you don't get the UV rays eating away at your skin. So the Audi Q8, a coupe SUV on another level altogether, different to the GLE Merc and to the BMW X6. Audi has produced something completely unique in its own class, in its own right. It is totally Audi. The Q7 has a V6 supercharged motor. That's only two horsepower less than this thing here. This thing is a V6 turbo. I was expecting something a bit stronger. 
Why not a V6 twin turbo? Because it is a Q8. It's a bigger number. Bigger numbers always generally have bigger motors. But we do know that the SQ8 and RSQ8 will be coming real soon, hopefully. And they're gonna have bigger engines. It's a given. But for now, let me show you around the extra buttons and the display and how it works. And then we're gonna take this beast out for a spin. I'm going to show you how this car works. The car is a keyless start car. So the key is in my pocket. You just press the start engine stop button. Car comes to life. Okay, let's get familiar with this system. So first up, we've got the navigation. Every time you press and you click on something, it does feel like you're pressing a button. No different whatsoever. With this, you can zoom in and out exactly what, how you play with an iPad or an iPhone at home. That's not a problem at all. Then you've got your radio control. So you've got all your radio here. Not to mention, it's a Bang & Olufsen system, so it sounds magnificent. Then you've got your telephone, which, if you follow me through, you can see you can dock your phone here in this wireless charging system and you've got two USB ports and an SD and a SIM input there. If we press this button it tells us where we are so where the car is and then we can go to special destinations and if we're lost we can go to a nearest service station that's not a problem. Go down to the second screen and over here we've got this hill descent button which you can click so when you go down a hill it limits your speed. We've got the um, stop start control off You've got the lane assist off, and you've got all these other little features. But this car has so many things that it's just unbelievable. The amount of technology that's involved is just awesome. A very cool feature in this car is that it's a step up from the camera systems used on other cars, which are the bird's eye view. Press the button, and here we're greeted with the bird's eye view camera and your front camera, which you can also change around. You can press this button here and you can change the different modes. So you can have widescreen, narrow screen, eye view here. You can also have from behind and you can make it wider. But my favorite feature is the 3D button. And look at that. It even shows you the gutter, the footpath behind you, the fence. And if someone's walking around the car, you can see them walking around your car. That's a first amazing feature here. One of my favorites. You can just play around with and have so much fun. Another feature regarding the aircon, most people press the plus and minus button to adjust the temperature. Now look at this. You can just scroll up and down as you like. Pretty cool. Now we know how the car works. Let's take it for a spin. The Audi Q8, a technological marvel. This thing is full of the latest in technology. We have three screens, one here in front of me, one here on the center, and then the one that controls all the aircon and all the car's functionality. Uh, and can I add a fourth one? That's a heads up display, right there at the windscreen. I can see the speed and I can see my lane assist guidance. But. My first impression sitting in this car is, this is comfy. It's a very comfortable car. Such an easy, pleasurable ride. This thing here does everything that you need. It's so versatile for your daily usage, the daily commute. Take the kids to school, although you only have five seats, so there's two rows. The Q7 came with an option to have three rows, so you can have it as a seven or eight seater car, or you can have it as a five seater like this. But this here is just a standard Q8. They're going to produce the SQ8. We all know that. Then eventually the RS model, which is going to have the bigger engine, which is what you'd want. Because don't forget, this car here shares the same chassis as the Bentley Bentayga and the Lamborghini Urus. Yes, that's right, the Lamborghini Urus, which is a big V12 beast, the fastest SUV, has the same chassis as this. And let me, dare I say, similar touchscreen. But yeah, all these new features that this car has is just so cool. 
it's all about being so comfy, so laid back. And at the same time, it's a sporty version, or you could say the coupe version of the Q7. So it's three inches shorter. This car is over two meters wide, so it's a wider car in total. So it's got a better presence on the outside. So it's a coupe sports SUV. So for your sport lovers, like people that like the BMW X6 and the GLE Merc, this is it. You've got it all here. This is completely sporty. But it's so different to a Porsche Cayenne. But it's a cool thing altogether. So I'm loving the gadgets. And most of all, I do like this ride quality. It's so good. It actually rides so amazingly well. So comfy on the roads. You could barely hear any road noise. And the steering is light. Typical Audi. But it does tighten up around corners. So it's got that sport feel. And this car here has all the premium package. So you've got the air suspension. Which you can adjust by pressing a button. On the touch screen. Button screen. Yeah. <laughs> so you can just play around with the buttons here. Everything's so simple, so easy to use. I like it. Right, let's get to the power with this car. So what we're equipped here is with a V6 twin scroll, single turbo, 335 horsepower, which is 250 kilowatts, and 500 newton meters of torque with a 0 to 100 time of 5.9 seconds. So it's pretty quick, it's okay for an SUV. It's not as quick as some of the others, but don't forget, they're going to be producing a quicker version, as we know. And with the engine, what they've featured for the first time is a mild hybrid system. When we say mild, this system here, the hybrid, actually helps preserve your petrol. So you lower your petrol consumption because it activates whilst you're on the highway so it holds steady speed so it holds your self lane assist and also with all your cruise control so that's when your hybrid system runs and it works with the stop start technology in this stop start technology in this car here it's so seamless you don't even feel or hear the car start so it runs on that hybrid system and that mild hybrid system also gives the car a bit of a kick and a shove so it can accelerate a lot quicker of takeoff because with a v6 and a car that weighs 2000 kilograms somewhere about there it won't be able to launch so good with a single turbo and a v6 motor but with that hybrid system it launches a lot better so it works all right now we've got some windy roads here let's go yes feels tight for an SUV this steering does harden up it is very soft initially but when you press the accelerator a bit it tightens up a lot yeah, let's have some spirited driving. This is what we can call spirited driving for an SUV. Oh, shit! Yes! <laughs> Bit of slippery sliding just happened there. <laughs> Whoa. I think I just exerted too much out there for this car. But it was good fun. Purchasing this car, you'll be doing all your driving around the back streets and the streets of Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Queensland, LA, Hong Kong, wherever you live. So basically, we have to know what it's like to drive through the streets of suburbia. So let's see. I think it has more than enough power for the streets of suburbia. You don't need more power than this. It's comfortable, it's quiet, has aircon that works, highly adjustable aircon, good brakes, braking system that works, you've got lane assist, you've got all your traction control systems, so the car does brake for you, it does everything that you want, so when a car stops right in the middle of the road, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this car will also stop for you, and with the lane assist, you can also adjust the distance between the car in front and that's via the cruise control knob which is down here 
you can adjust your distance between every car. The minimal distance is three seconds, maximum is pretty much seven seconds with the car that's in front of you. I'm running the lane assist, so here we go. I can let go of the steering wheel and the car keeps and maintains a three second gap with the car in front. And I've got a limit of 60 k's an hour, but it slows it down so it applies brakes as you can see. This is what all the fuss is about, technology. You can see on the heads up display there, the speed as well. <laughs> so now they've completely slowed down and look what it says. Okay, they slowed down too much and the car went too slow, so it disabled the system. It's a cool feature. You do feel body roll around corners, obviously it's an SUV. And don't forget, this is the base model in the Q8. Until the S8 or the SQ8 comes out, the RSQ8 comes out, that's a different ball game altogether, that's something else. But right now, this is what we have to drive. And personally, it's a pretty good drive. Special thanks to Audi Auto Atarman for giving us the car for the day. in here I can't see it okay what is this now yeah it's timber tree what it's not even timber you can't even what, what the hell is it timber it's colored like timber it's, but when you touch it it's not timber it's like a laminated printed timber onto piano finished timber frame and in traffic and can't review anything nowadays around Sydney good luck go oh, you missing out on the mate shit bastards go you f what am I doing talking to myself all right, just keep pressing the brakes. Half asleep. The sign says 60. Go 60. Ah!